last night on our platform on Twitch, a platform that many amazing creators helped me to create in no small part. I glossed over a few amazing creators in a PC giveaway, and I absolutely should not have done that. And I did it in a sh stupid way. A really stupid way. I'm extremely sorry about that. Kia, Strawberry, Protese, and any others who are hurt by this. I would not intend that for you, ever. I'm so, so sorry. That's not how anyone should be treated. Okay, let's cut to the chase on Artesian builds, okay? You may have heard there was a bit of drama. I did a video about it, which covered it, okay? Now, you may notice that they've deleted some of their tweets about this. So basically, oh, look, here, look. It's the deleted apology video. <laughs> they uploaded it onto YouTube. <laughs> they uploaded it onto YouTube. Last night on our platform on Twitch, a platform that many amazing creators helped me to create in no small part. It's got 11,000 views. Someone, someone put it on YouTube. Jesus. Anyway. So let me just fill you in on the drama, okay? Let me fill you in on the drama. Artesian builds is a company that live streams making PCs for streamers and that's more or less to what it's simply that's it okay so they do custom built PCs okay they recently got into some controversy because this person the CEO of the company decided during the course of a giveaway they do okay what they were going to do is rather than because normally they pick a name out of a hat whoever's name it is gets the PC right but now, what he said he was going to do at the time, he said, right, what I'm going to do today is rather than just give it, I'm going to do due diligence and I'm going to you know, have a look and make sure that they're suitable for the giveaway. Well, what does that mean? Well, in the course of the video, what this guy did is he was live on stream looking at people's analytics, trying to figure out if they were like good enough to have this giveaway. All followers combined, still under 5K, even across multiple socials. I was One idiot! Why would you do this? It makes you look it makes you look horrendous. This is like the worst marketing I've seen in my entire life. Why would you willingly do this? This is craziness. Looking at their followers, you look petty and penny-pinching and nasty. So he was talking about their concurrent viewers, how many followers they've got. Basically, to put it simply, it's... Did they have enough clout to, to earn getting this PC, okay? When in the past, they'd never really done anything like that. It just gone to, I believe, whoever's name came out of the hat, right? Now, look, here's the situation, okay? So here's, listen, here's the situation. There's nothing wrong with having, like, you know, criteria for a giveaway. There's nothing wrong with having criteria for a giveaway, Okay. If you want to put in place, right, you need to be this many subscribers, this many followers, whatever, put that in place and say, in order to meet this criteria for a giveaway, you must have this many followers, this many click-throughs on your link or whatever it is, right? Set that in place before you do the competition, put the rules out and you're good to go, right? You do it all behind the scenes, yeah? Why the hell would you do it on stream? In fact, I think my editor in the YouTube video highlighted that when he put the video up. But it was like, uh, why would you do this on stream? It makes literally no sense. You're you're not getting any benefit whatsoever by publicizing this process. I think this guy was just on an ego trip. I think this guy was honestly just on some sort of ego trip because I don't understand. Yeah, why would you do this is the title of the YouTube video. Because it's like, why would you do this? It makes no sense. Stupid. Stupid business decision. Okay. But, you know... Don't get it twisted. There is no problem in having some sort of criteria in place. Now, I don't like affiliate contracts and deals. I think they're crap. And I would advise streamers against taking them unless you're certain it's going to benefit you. Um, and But yeah, I, I think that this kind of company works on the basis of getting as many people through the door as possible to be affiliates so they can benefit from all the eyeballs that are on their brand. But anyway, I'm repeating myself, okay? You get the idea. That's the basic summary. If you want to see my coverage of it, there'll be like a link to the video in the description, I'm sure. Okay. So what you'll note is that the tweets have been deleted. And since I made that video, they put this tweet out. Okay. 
At this point, we're examining a potential employee-led buyout of the company. Thank you for your support, okay? Now, this was in the midst of a lot of bad things happening for Artesian Builds, right? So... There were um, sponsors pulling out, uh, like there were streamers pulling out. Lots of streamers were saying, I'm not going to work with them anymore because they didn't like what they saw. And then OTK, which is like a big um, conglomerate for different, I think it's like a streamer um, brand manager or something like that. I don't know. I suppose I could look it up. What is it? OTK? Oh, I can't even remember what it is. One True King, Gaming Org, online content. They used to do professional gaming, but now they just do online content for different content creators. And it includes some pretty big figures like Asmongold, Mizkif, and others as well. Okay. Now, OTK said they were going to pull out. Now, that was a very big deal because that is a massive, massive like hole then for Artesian builds. So, in any case, they put this out following all these people drawing out of the company. Okay. Drawing out of the, uh, the whatever deal they've got with them. But then... Another tweet came out. No reply. <laughs> no replies allowed. No replies allowed. We are sad to announce that. Effective now. We are freezing, suspending all activities. Ongoing is analysis by outside counsel for reorganization to ensure fair treatment of clients, creditors, and employees. We expect more info by month's end. We are open to assistance or investment. Now, it doesn't say it here, but based on what I've seen, particularly from reports that employees aren't going to be paid, this looks like they've gone into administration. This looks like they've gone into administration. You, you know what that is? is? Is it called that in America as well? It's basically where a business gets to a point where they're unable to like financially continue their business operation. So they have to enter a state where they try and deal with the affairs, get their affairs in order so they can get, either continue operating or sell the company or something like that. Um, but yeah, this looks like we call it administration over here. Or is it, is it called bankruptcy over there? Well, but yeah, because bankruptcy is like one of the outcomes administration is like right we're at risk of going into bankruptcy here we need to get our affairs in order to deal with the situation right but that's what this looks like to me in as many words because uh, you know why is it they can't pay employees that doesn't make any sense you know the only time I've ever known a company halt operations and not pay employees is when they enter administration or when it looks like there's serious financial trouble that they need to deal with. Um, protection from creditor given to a company in financial difficulties for a limited period to allow it to reorganize. Yeah, that sounds like what it is. We call it administration. Okay. Insolvency. Yeah. Whatever it's called. I mean, the point I'm trying to make is it looks here like they're saying here we're open to assistance or investment. Like, it's not just that you're open to it. It's that you need it for your business to continue, clearly. <laughs> like, this is mental. And it's happened so quickly as well. And the thing is, as well, is like, it, do you know what? Like, I, I, I haven't put, like, loads of thought into it. I knew I was going to talk about it today. But, yeah, how has it happened so fast? How is it? Because even if you've got all these people pulling out, Presumably, your business would be able to continue to operate. Like your business, like, would continue to operate for a period of time as as new deals came in. Like, I don't understand how it's such a quick cutoff. Like, how is it such a quick cutoff that this happened like a week ago, and then today they're basically going into what I think, I believe, from the looks of it from the outside looking in, is administration. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were just like running on fumes or something. Oh, yeah, I saw this thing. I think that dude wasn't paying taxes, so they froze his business license. I saw this being bandied about on Twitter, but I didn't have the requisite knowledge to look in detail at the nature of what was going on there. It was literally just screenshots. And, you know, I don't even really understand the British like tax system in terms of tracking down what companies are paying tax or not. 
So I couldn't tell you what was going on with the American side of things. But the thing, I mean, you know, if 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 your company is running at such a thin line that one public controversy is enough for it to go down, which was of like medium severity. What's this? You know, this is just this is the this. Oh, oh, this is the video you're talking about. I'll watch this if this goes into it. I'll watch this if this has got good info in it about it. But yeah, it just strikes me as very odd that you're that you're running on such razor thin lines that your company is going to go bust off the back of one public controversy. It doesn't make sense to me, right? I'm not like a fucking you know I'm not I'm not Donald Trump UK edition expert business person at all. But just knowing what I do about businesses, I've I've been through a company, I've been through redundancy before from a company, like I've been through some of these processes from the other end. And it's just kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, let's watch this video, see what they say. This is the problem. The tone doesn't match. To which I replied, that's not how that works. <laughs> the system integrator Artesian Builds has been in a lot of trouble over the last few weeks. And now they're going to be in more trouble because the company has decided to lay off all of its employees via Slack tonight. It's a nice message for the team to wake up to. So we've been in discussion actually with CEO Noah Katz for a couple of days now about flying out to California to do an interview with him in the same way that we did one with Newegg. And it would be up to Katz here to make matters better we or worse. We would fly work. you out at our cost. I mean, yeah, based on, based on current events, I think you're going to need to do that. Based on, based on current events, I think they're going to need the flights covered, for sure. First, depending on how he performed on camera. This we hadn't made public at all until this point because we were still working on details. Uh, and while this was all happening, we were hearing from a lot of employees and former employees from Artesian Builds, a much larger company than we initially thought and probably than most of you knew of, and uh, heard basically the horror stories that led to the downfall, and it's more than just the mistakes that happened on the stream last week. Before that, this video is brought to you by ah. Lexus Professional Series 2000X SD cards. We've actually been using... Yeah, that's... Hmm. Interesting. This exact model of SD card Here internally for at least yes. four years now, having yes. bought them ourselves. And whenever we buy new SD cards, we typically buy this exact model. We're happy to advertise this particular one since they've traveled all over the world with us and have filmed thousands well, that's, of hours. That, that's what I'm saying is, you know, when I was looking at it, it didn't seem right. And it sounds like this guy's dug into it and has got some info about it. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll transform this into fresh content. <laughs> Now listen, if if it turns out that we don't really uh, react to it much, we'll cut it out. But if I do have stuff to say, then yeah, I'll say it. Can't believe how many simps are defending this company and sawing that it's just one person. What what do you mean? The footage. Lexar also has a new three-in-one card reader that you should check out for your media projects. Learn more at the link in I the mean, description listen, below. Just like listen, the fact that the staff are getting the 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 thick the thick end of the stick, the sharp end of the stick, I should say. Um, it's terrible. Yeah, obviously. It's terrible. And I've been very, I was very critical in my last video about the way this company went about doing their affiliate stuff. Welcome hey, to Chuck Nation. Hard Sale. Thanks for the Fresh, sub. fresh drama. But yeah, I mean, this company sounds like it sucks, but, and, and also the other thing as well is like, I do, on the one hand, want to say, well, it's the CEO's fault for having a public, um, you know, crisis. But if there's more going on, well, let's see who's at fault. Let's see who's actually responsible for this, I guess. Just a quick note here as we progress. Uh, this video is coming together extremely fast because everything's happening very fast. We've been collecting a lot of information. It's being shot at about 1 a.m. I'm going to stay and edit and upload this thing. Hello. So uh, the editing isn't going to be as tight as it normally is, but work with Who us is here. This? Oh, okay. This is, um, his name's Steve, Gamer Nexus. I think I've watched one of his videos before on stream. I can't remember. But yeah, he's got way more subs than me, but even so. That's the video if you want to go and subscribe or whatever. This, I've seen one of his videos. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I've seen this guy's videos. He breaks apart pre-builds. He breaks apart pre-builds and, like, goes... He looks over it and goes, oh, yeah, this is rubbish, this is rubbish. Yeah. Oh, my God. I really like this channel. I've seen this guy before. Yes. 
I've not watched them on stream. I've watched them off stream. But, but watching them break apart pre-builds is really fun. I love that stuff. Because I'm not like a massive tech PC person. But I kind of roughly know what's going on. And it's fun fun when he breaks the stuff like alien. He breaks apart Alienware. And he's like, this sucks. <laughs> I love it. So for the past week, we've been privately piecing together a piece on Artesian Builds. And we've been trying to meet with the CEO for that unedited interview. In that time, we've seen some of the most incompetent handling of affairs we've ever seen at a company in this industry. Wow. It's genuinely baffling. To put the size of the company into perspective, the really the heartbreaking thing about it all is that it's about 40 to 50 people who've lost Jesus. their jobs tonight by complete what? surprise from a scenario- 40 to 50 people? Jesus. That's crazy. Yeah, which was probably recoverable. I mean, the, the whole taking away the giveaway PC, that's not a nice thing to do. But then you look at their business license, which has been suspended by the state of California for some kind of tax issue. <gasps> and the way that th was true. Oh, my God. Their business license got suspended. OK, I'm going to throw a conspiracy out there. I'm going to throw a conspiracy out there, okay? What if? What if? Okay, conspiracy time. Put your tinfoil hats on. What if this was going to happen anyway? What if this was going to go down anyway if they got their business license suspended? So this was like, you know, literally generating a public relations disaster intentionally so that they could wind things up and it looks like it's because of that. Maybe, perhaps. Nothing confirmed. That's just my guess without knowing all the details, okay? But I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there as a possibility. Obviously, that is a complete conjecture, guess, conspiracy on my part, okay? But I do, I do wonder, I think just entertaining that in lightly is worth it, just for the fun at least. Jesus. One week ahead. It's just a it's just a guess. It's just a guess. Okay. It's just for the conspiracy memes. That's it. But yeah, Jesus, forty to fifty people. That's terrible. I saw that Eris did like a, a fundraising stream from them yesterday, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I I was trying to find out if there's like some sort of centralized fundraising thing for them to to sort of share around, but I um I couldn't I couldn't. I don't know if there's one set up yet, but yeah, if there's like a if there's like a um, like a GoFundMe or something for the employees, that'd be good, because I think from what I could see, it just seemed to be sort of disparate PayPal links and stuff. But yeah, they handled the rest of the business, and obviously there were much deeper problems because a company doing enough builds to support fifty employees isn't going to get torpedoed over. A, a bad series of giveaways as long yes, as they exactly can address thinking. it properly, which they didn't do that either. But anyway, it's just, it's really sad to see how many people end up out onto the street over the actions of uh, a CEO who is running a PC building company and yet is infatuated with trying to become famous on Twitch. Those things, they don't really go together. So first up, we didn't realize this, but Artesian Builds is in fact big enough to have two locations. It has one in the San Francisco area. That's where all of the internet famous people builds happen. So that'd be all of the partnership builds, all of the Twitch streamer builds, anything like that. That went through the San Francisco office and that was mostly handled by the CEO, Noah Katz, and whatever team that he had there. The East Coast office is actually near us. We weren't aware of that. And uh, really near us. Like, like we probably Wait, will be able to. Two offices. What's the outlay on that? How much is that costing? Artesian was about to face the wrath of an accountant. That accountant, Tom Zhu. That's got to be pricey. Jesus. <sighs> but were they? Were they? The thing is, is like, I think there's this thing that happens, right? 
where if someone sees like a business just kind of operating, people make the assumption that things are all rosy and everything's great. But often, even businesses that on the face of it look like they're running well are like crippled with problems that you don't necessarily see. It's like, um, you know, that meme of The Simpsons where Homer's looking all muscly, but he's got all his fat pinned behind his back. It's a bit like that sometimes. But yeah, the salaries, Jesus, the outlay on salaries. Unless unless he paid them in <laughs> unless unless the employees were paid along the same lines as like affiliates and stuff. That's the second time I've heard someone quote The Simpsons. Oh yeah, I, mean, I, I try not to quote The Simpsons too much. It's a bit soy, but yeah, yeah. A lot of small businesses are two three months away from failing. Yeah, exactly. He paid them by building them some means of production. <laughs> to meet with people soon uh if you haven't reached out to us and you used to work there reach out to us at tips at gamersnexus.net because i don't know we'll grab coffee or something and talk about it we're that close but anyway they have two offices the one that's near uh, that's on the east coast handled the builds for basically everyone else so the bulk of the business daily was happening in one location and then sort of the promotional activities for the business like building things for internet famous streamers was happening in the other location. And to just catch you up on matters as we ramp into this, a couple of bullet points. Artesian Builds, if you don't know, is a PC building system integrator. That means they build custom PCs, similar to what CyberPower, iWebPower does, much smaller, but still large enough to have relatively high order volume, uh, a lot more than we expected, actually. The company CEO recently changed giveaway rules mid giveaway as it was happening in a live stream. This is an ambassador giveaway. This is not for people that aren't taking streaming oh, seriously. Dear. We need you to be promoting, frankly, yourself and us, if we're giving you a free computer. The ambassador program is changing. Everyone currently in it stays in it. But the ambassador level of our program is going to rise up. It's, it's already sort of risen up a little bit. Gamers rise up. And it's going to be a little bit harder to enter that level. But affiliates who start out at the lowest level, can ascend gloriously as if caught in a tractor beam onto the next level. And ambassadors who slay it may even become partners at some point. And partners who slay it will become gods. It's not a pyramid scheme. It is a, it's not even a scheme per se. It's will become gods and basically gloated about the fact that people who were being drawn Jesus. for the giveaway were then being rejected to receive the computer that was being given away. Uh, Gecko, we run the contest, we make the rules. It's a slight change because we don't want to give PC people that quit playing the game. That's silly. Good Pick a random name. I'd love to. <laughs> I didn't see all of this. There's so much more to it as well. There's so much more to it as well going on. Jesus. So people were getting rejected because they weren't going to be able to do enough for artesian builds. And so screw them, I guess, is sort of how it went down. It just really kills the energy of the the uh, the drawing process. But... We have some questions about the legality of this on its own. Maybe that's part of why the company just ended up, well, is in the process of what appears to be shutting down. They claim reorganization. Normally that means some form of bankruptcy and then maybe new ownership yes. or selling out Damn, shares. Damn, this guy knows as well. I need to speak to this guy. I feel like I've got enough clout now that I can speak to some of these bigger YouTubers. This guy knows what's going on. Get me this man on the phone immediately. <laughs> Get me this man on the phone. <laughs> nah, come on. I've, listen, I can punch him on my weight, okay? I'm good at doing that. But either way, uh, the legality of the way this giveaway was handled as far as we're aware is maybe suspect but we're not lawyers so we'll leave that part there the company ceo apologized on three separate occasions the first was a series of tweets which basically came across as oh we're so sorry for giving you people computers you're so ungrateful the second one was a statement that had the letterhead of from the chief executive officer's office which was just weirdly um just tone deaf is what that is. The, the whole thing was, it was like pretending to be something you're not. It's sort of how it came across. There's the re-roll. 
Here's the reason, chatter babies. This is an ambassador giveaway, and you've got to be collaborating with my company Jesus to Christ. get my free computers. Sponsored by Intel. Thanks, Intel. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Uh, what we didn't know. Mention in the fucking brand name as well where you're doing an absolutely PR disaster move. Actually, looking back at some of this footage as well, do you know what it reminds me of? So, okay, I used to work for um, a company called... Basically, it's a long story, right? But I ended up, like, made, getting made redundant. I ended up working in HMV for a little while, right? Was it HMV? Yeah, yeah it was HMV. I worked at HMV for a little while. It's like a record store, okay? And but, wait, no, was it that? No, 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 it wasn't that. I was, okay, it was when it was Virgin Records. It was back when it was called the Virgin Megastore, Virgin Records or something like that, okay? And I was just like, a, basically like a, no, wait, hang on, I'm getting this story totally wrong. I worked for a company called Virgin Mobile, which then became Virgin Media. And it was, it was a concession store within a Virgin store, okay? Yeah, I was too much of a giga chad. They had to, they had to end it. They had to end it when I joined. They were like, sorry, we can no longer call ourselves virgins. Anyway, so basically the Virgin Megastores was getting wound up and HMV was purchasing it, right? And I was working in the Virgin Mobile section. and But we were fine. We were going to remain regardless, right? Anyway, <laughs> my um, the boss of the store was told to, like, to, to um, transfer a bunch of PlayStation 3s, which had like, just come out at the time from their store to another branch that was remaining open, and that one was maybe going to be closing. And he got these PlayStations, right? And he was, like, dropping them on the floor. He was pissed off, right? He was kicking them about. He's like, have your fucking PlayStations, you bastards. He was losing it. He was losing this, the plot. He was chucking them about the place like he didn't even give a shit anymore. And, yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of. It was like uh, that, that footage there. It's like where he's going, thanks, Intel. It's like he's just literally doesn't give a shit anymore. And he's just grinding his own business into the dust because he doesn't give a single fuck because he's been fucked over. I don't know. That's kind of what it reminds me of. That energy. That energy that the manager of the store had when he was chucking PlayStations about the place. Though, was just how mismanaged things were behind the scenes. So on March 6th, we emailed Artesian Builds. We offered to fly out to San Francisco at our own cost again just a few weeks after the new egg one, uh, to meet with CEO Noah Katz. We did not publicly share this communication yet, and that's going to be important in a moment. We did inform Katz that all communication would be considered on record for publication. Uh, we'll put our outreach on the screen as well. Now, our goal wasn't to pile on here, but to have an actual honest discussion about what happened and pose hard questions. Now, it would have been up to Katz to not make this worse. It's not our job to make them look good. So in these types of interviews, as we're looking at doing more of them after the Newegg one, uh, really our job is to sit there, ask questions, and let them try and earn back their customers or make things worse. And th that's your judgment as a viewer to figure out at that point based on what you're seeing. And we're planning to keep doing these unedited uh, so that there's no question at all as to what was presented. So it's just entirely 100% transparent in that regard. That was the goal. Over the next few hours after sending that email, which again was only sent to Artesian Builds and their support department, we had several staff and former staff of Artesian reach out to us privately after we sent that email. And we have screenshots of the Slack server where the email I sent was shared internally so that they could discuss it, which is all fine with us. That's just sort of how companies work. Uh, Artesian was internally discussing it, and so employees became aware of it, started emailing us about their experience. We heard back from Katz. While this conversation was happening, we were hearing from employees about the company's bank accounts being frozen. Suddenly, the employees, the staff in charge of things like purchasing, were not able to purchase things. Uh, we also heard about the CEO, quote, ghosting the team and about an ambiguous future for the company. So at 3.30 p.m. on March 7th, members of the Artesian Builds Slack were discussing an ominous bank freeze and being... Thanks for the bank freeze development is not something I've been provided any information on. It's also notable that our team aren't able to get on our company Twitter at this time due to the password change. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Intel did call them out, yeah. 
Sorry, I was just sending a message to someone. Um, I got a bit distracted. Um, I've asked for access and been denied. I wasn't aware of that. Let me try and look into it. Noah, with guidance from legal, said to stop doing refunds yesterday. Oh, Jesus, that's a massive deal. Now people aren't are not getting the money for refunds that were completed at some point before that. Yeah, if you've got, I th I think that when when you announce like you're in uh, insolvency or administration or whatever you call it, right? I'm pretty sure that at that point it cuts off and you can you can deny refunds because then the person asking for the refund is considered like a debtor to you or something like that. It was oh my god. When I was so there was a later time that I was actually working in HMV and it was in, in administration and it was around Christmas and we weren't accepting gift cards. Basically if you've got a gift card with a company that enters administration you then become a debtor to the company, right? So your gift card is no longer valid. And it's basically like you're you're added to the long list of people that are owed money by the company. Yeah, HMV still exists, but it's a much smaller operation now. Yeah, yeah, they declared bankruptcy. But you can imagine at Christmas time, there were people like grabbing CDs and it was, or not grabbing, but they come to the till and they try and pay with a gift card. And it would be like, I'm sorry, we don't accept gift cards. The person wanting a refund is a creditor. Is that it? Did I get it the wrong way around? Oh, sorry. My bad. Sorry. I made a mistake. I said that I got it the wrong way around. Yeah, creditor. That's it. Death is owe you money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, I fucked it up because I'm an idiot. Okay. Anyway, the point is. um, Yeah. So, but you'd have people coming up and they'd have their gift cards and you'd be like oh sorry we can't accept gift cards because of this reason and they'd like just chuck the gift card at you and be like right well i'm out of here and they take their cds or whatever they just walk out the shop and it's like okay well um enjoy your stuff i guess like what are you supposed to do yes and if there's any money left after the bankrupt bankruptcy process you'll maybe get a percentage of the amount owed and that's assuming you add your name to the list precisely it's very complicated so imagine you've got like a fifty pound gift card, and you just go to go to buy some CDs, right? And it's like, sorry, you are now a creditor to HMV. Once we've uh, organised the the uh, you know bankruptcy, you may get a percentage of what you're owed back. And people aren't going to do that for like twenty quid, yeah. So they had this big pool of money that they got on gift cards. I, I don't like gift cards personally. And locked out of company accounts, like the Twitter account. At 3.36 p.m., a few minutes later, the Artesian internal Slack included statements that Noah Katz had allegedly demanded a cessation of all refunds to customers, and the chat continued to debate the legality on this, but obviously has no recourse in going against the orders handed down from on high. This, by the way, is exceptionally slimy, because denying refunds to people especially if you know you're about to fire your entire team, obviously means you're just trying to take the money and run and pay off whatever debts you might have and move on rather than Jesus. doing, you know, the right thing and refunding the people who will never see their system. Sorry, anyway. yeah, on another, yeah. I'm sorry, I know this is like on, off on a tangent, but um, yeah, uh, retail is a, dying, is a dying breed. Retail is on the way out. Um, in the UK particularly, it's bad. There's a lot of companies that are winding up or they're um, drawing back on their retail operation because people don't shop like they used to. They don't go down to the high street anymore and go and have a look and buy some shit. They, most people are online now. Like, what, I hate shopping. Like, I hate... The only thing I would go shopping for is clothes. That's about it. But yeah, people just aren't doing the retail shopping anymore, particularly COVID as well. COVID has, has really changed the game. And uh, yeah, generally online shopping is a lot easier. And um, yeah, I obviously use Amazon. Some people whinge at me about that, but it's like, bro, you're on Twitch. Like, what do you mean? You're literally watching me on Twitch. Like, what does it matter if I buy from Amazon or not? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking boycott Amazon. When I'm a Twitch streamer, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah, I think Amazon, are, are, you know, they've really changed the game. In terms of logistics and shit. Like, they're just unbeatable. Yeah. 
Allegedly, they also had a back order of six to eight months of PC builds for non-content creators. Wow. At 12.20 a.m. on March 8th, CEO Noah Katz finally commented on the company's internal Slack server, stating the following, quote, Hi, folks. The past week has been a difficult and chaotic time for everyone here. While I have been working around the clock to help stabilize the situation, I would now like to share an update to the team about where we are. At this time, we are continuing to seek support for Artesian builds so that we can restart the order flow and continue to ship awesome PCs, which will help us recover from the current situation. As it was the weekend, important conversations are slated for this coming week and have not yet occurred. I tried to avoid Amazon. There are plenty of alternatives anyway. Trax, you're watching Twitch. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Right? So this is a completely optional thing. You don't need to do this. Why the fuck would you be watching Twitch if you're trying to avoid Amazon? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life. For now, the company will continue to fulfill existing orders from stock on hand to the best of our ability. We'll have more to say about this in the coming days. GN interview isn't like an immediate tomorrow thing, but I love Steve. We'll see. That always like hurts me a little bit when we have to. I have to do my job, uh, which is to be impartial. It's my job specifically to not be friends with people in the industry if I have to work with them on content like this. So it always hurts a little bit to see stuff like that. There were people at Newegg who were like, "I'm a big fan. Can I have a photo?" They're like looking at their boss over there. Uh, so. Uh, I don't know. I mean, you know, we said this to Noah Katz in the email correspondence and to Newegg people who said they were fans, which was, I appreciate that. Um, don't take this personally, but that has no bearing on any of this discussion we're going to have. I'm basically going to pretend I don't know what you just said, and we're going to proceed as is appropriate oh, to discuss dear. things professionally about what's happening. So. Yeah, on the personal side, it's like I appreciate that. On the professional side, it actually doesn't matter. Uh, I have to do my job here, which is to look out for consumers. I don't really care about the, the other side of things. So not knowing we had seen this at the time, CEO Noah Katz also emailed us and gave a soft acceptance to our interview. He said that he'd be up to it, but despite being the literal CEO of the company, uh, he needed lawyers to tell him if it's a bad idea to do the interview. Uh, you know, know, lawyers tell him if it's a bad idea. Is that? It, it would have been. Why you know, is it doubling up? If it's a what bad the fuck idea is that? Be... Oh, it's doubling up there. Sorry, my bad. Sorry about that. This interview shit is your Twitch politics wet dream. I think the point is to avoid Amazon shop to try to keep part of the business with Goblock and everything else. Yeah, I'm very skeptical about boycotts. I don't think they're really worth much. Um, but yeah. Okay, you, you know. I just think <laughs> boycotts and stuff, you generally just end up making your life a, a, some a slightly more inconvenient to literally no benefit to your overall goals. Um, I just think it's kind of pointless. But yeah, that's my position on it. Good luck to you with the little boycott there, okay? Probably the most honest public chance on a big platform to get a message out there. Uh, but what we didn't know was that he was in the process of laying everyone off, despite the fact that he had just invited us out. So color us Not confused you, Peter, on no. that. And this will come back up later. This, this will be a little bit important. So here's the message sent to Artesian Build staff just hours ago before recording this. Quote, hello, everyone. As I mentioned yesterday, Wait, this? this will be a little bit important. Thanks. We'll let you know as soon as I can. We have lots of studio equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Someone help me with budgeting. <laughs> Someone that's good with budgeting, help me. <laughs> Public relations, $5. Um... <laughs> Streamer partner offers $10. Studio equipment, $10,000. Someone that's good with budgeting, help me. My business is dying. Spend less on studio equipment? No. So no need to bring any lights or anything like that. Let me know your favorite foods if you want lunch or I can make sushi or something. What the f- What? <laughs> it's no a guy's fucking- What? Make sushi? Yeah, Star Lord jacket, $3,000, yeah. Note from GN in editing. We don't let companies take us to dinner at trade shows, so certainly not this. These meetings are tense and brief. The tone makes no sense for the gravity of the situation. And inviting us for sushi feels especially bad, considering the fate of employees was likely known by this time. It is totally tone death and feels like either buying favour or misplaced desire to hang out. 
Yeah, Welcome like what? To Chud Nation. I, I know it that, yeah. Core, Apple's gift hey, to the tier one sub not Apple, Thank you for the gift to sub. For sure, it's like, it's such a weird way of putting it. Yeah, come by. We'll have some sushi. It'll be good fun. Like, what the fuck? Important. So here's the message sent to Artesian build staff just hours ago before recording this. Quote, hello everyone. As I mentioned yesterday, I've been spending the past week working relentlessly across many areas on the back end, attempting to secure the vital funding necessary to sustain company operations. While that process is continuing, I have an important announcement to share. Effective immediately, Artesian is imposing a full Oof. freeze on all business financial activities. To ensure fair treatment of everyone involved with Artesian, including customers, creditors, yikes, and employees, Artesian is undergoing a financial analysis by outside counsel for reorganization purposes and is freezing all payments of any kind pending the recommendations by counsel. Sadly, as part of this freeze, all employment for all employees is suspended, effective immediately Jesus. and until further notice. Artesian hopes that it can reverse these layoffs in the future, but at this time, Artesian simply cannot continue employing anyone until the outside analysis is fully completed. We do not have any further information to share at this time, but expect to learn more by the end of March. I want end to sincerely thank every single one of you on this talented team for the hard work and dedication that you brought to this company. If financing does come, then we can potentially get back in the action. We'll see. Now, order- Jesus. This sounds illegal. It, I doubt it's illegal because in- So I don't know about America's exact n nature of it, but in the UK, there is a- pr there is, It's called administration, like I say. And basically, you can put a stop to all financial things. Including staff pay paychecks. I mean, obviously, it's terrible. It's not good. I don't I don't know if it's illegal though. It probably there's probably a legal process for it because any company could feasibly have a situation where they need to wind the business down and go bankrupt or whatever and they're not going to have the money on hand to pay their employees. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So there's some situations where com where employees will go to work for the day and it will literally just be there'll be a sign on the door or the other thing as well is you could get like partway through your day and they say, right, announcement, everyone, we're going to have to wind, you know, we're going to be going into administration. You will not be paid. Like, go home and wait to see what happens. It's fucked up. You can't not pay employees if you're in administration. Yeah, if because the point is, if your business is in that bad estate. You're basically, um, you, you you know, you, you need to find a way forward to continue the business. So until that happens, you're not going to be able to pay employees, potentially. It's messed up. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying I agree with it. It's fucked up. But from, like, the business's perspective, like, it's how it has to go. Phoenixing, is that what it's called? It's a big problem where the company goes into administration to wipe debt and then rebrand, yeah. Chud agrees with scummy companies. I'm not saying... I, I don't agree with it. Obviously, it's wrong, but it's just the reality of the system we live under. There's not much you can do about it. Um, presumably, there's some sort of government program that you can apply to to get assistance, I would imagine, Right? If if you if you if you lose your job as a result of this, like the government is going to have some sort of welfare benefit you can uh, you can apply for, right? Chad says it's wrong, but well, no, because I'm making a claim about how it is, not how it should be. Parts of it are illegal. Well, no, they're not paying your staff if you're in administration or you're filing for some sort of bankruptcy thing in the United States wouldn't be illegal. But if there's other stuff that's gone on that is illegal, then yeah, that could be a thing. But I don't know enough about it. Maybe we're going to find out more in this video. If the company claims bankruptcy, they aren't liable f for unemployment. 
No, 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 sure. So the company wouldn't have to pay you any sort of amount of money, presumably. Well, it depends what comes through the financing stuff. But the government surely would provide some support if you literally just lost your job like that overnight, right? Unemployment takes a while to kick in in the US. Yeah, but okay, I, I'm sorry. Listen, listen, I know that like um, benefits and stuff and welfare isn't always the best. But what I'm saying is there's some sort of government benefit that you would be able to claim for. Yes or no? If no, that's really, really bad, obviously. But presumably there's something. <laughs> I mean, I just, if you're fired or laid off. That was my experience with it. The company filed Chapter 8. I lost my job. I filed for unemployment and was denied because of the status of the bankruptcy. Over here, over here, um, you can, it takes a little while to get onto the benefit system, but you can apply for a, um, what do you call it? Like a loan. You can apply for a loan ahead of time and then pay it back over like a period of time. But yeah, apply for a loan from the benefit system. But yeah, obviously, you know, everyone's going to be in different circumstances. Some people are going to maybe have a bit of savings to see them through. Other people are going to be completely screwed. This is a big problem for the furloughs. People weren't getting paid and then quit. But since they quit, they couldn't file for unemployment assistance. The best thing you can do before doing anything of getting a message like this is contacting whatever government department you need to, explaining the situation and figuring out how to get support. Okay? That's it. That's, that's the best thing you can do in this situation, right? As people are saying, the risk is if you quit, Maybe there's going to be some procedure you're not following. But the best thing to do is just contact whoever the relevant department is and say, hey, this is the situation. This is what's happened. And I'm certain that someone will be able to give you some form of assistance, okay? And I don't know what that looks like and what that would be. <laughs> okay, our system for social support sucks. Yes, but even so, you, it is still worth, like... What's better? Is it to sit there and go, oh, social support totally sucks, which I agree it probably does on the whole. Or is it better to go, right, take the ball by the horns, contact whatever fucking department is relevant and see what, see what I can do? Right? Am I wrong? <laughs> I learned this the hard way. I learned this the hard way. I was eligible for benefits. I didn't claim them for ages because I was worried I was too prideful. Right? Don't be prideful about it. Don't be don't don't get mad, get even. <laughs> right? Contact the relevant department and see what you can do to get the situation sorted, okay? I many times in my life, I've done it both ways, okay? I've done it where I've buried my head in the sand and I've, you know, let it wash over me and it's gone to shit. And also I've done it where I've gone, right, I need to get this situation in hand. Contact the relevant department. And if you're struggling, ask for help, okay? I don't know. That's what I say about that. My best advice I can give, which is generic to everyone, is grab the ball by the horns in these situations. And if you're struggling for help, if you're struggling to do it, ask for help. If in the course of going to do it, you find some problem that you find insurmountable, ask someone else to help you, a friend or family member. And like I say, I've learned this the hard way. Welcome to Chud Nation. It's not bootstraps. It's not bootstraps to say, hey, if you need some form of support, you need to go and sometimes it's not going to land in your, on your lap. You've got to go and find it. And, you know, in terms of contacting whatever the government department is. And if you're struggling with that, you need to ask for help. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that's I don't think that's a problem.
Server volume is actually pretty high. We're still working on getting specific, more recent numbers, which now shouldn't be a problem since there's a lot of very angry people. But uh, it's high enough that there are going to be builds that never get complete, and there will be people who never get their build. Whether or not they get their money back is to be determined. Hopefully, a simple chargeback, if you're one of those people, will get you your money back if Wait, you bought it. Wait, I agree, but the way you described it sounds like bootstraps. How is it bootstraps to say, go and ask the government for help? How oh, is that fucking bootstraps? That's the opposite of bootstraps. Bootstraps would be me saying, hey, just fucking work your way out of it. Go and grind and find another job or some shit. What do you mean? How is it bootstraps to say, ask the government for help in the best way possible? On a credit card. It's, wait. It's impossible for it to be bootstraps. How is it in any way possible to be interpreted as bootstraps? Well, my basic point is make sure you're asking the relevant government department for assistance. You have the option to do a chargeback. Not everyone has that ability, uh, but that... Look. He's right. I didn't think I'd qualify for unemployment back when COVID hit, but I did. If I'd have ignored my family and listened to my head, I'd have been thousands short. Exactly. All you end up doing is, if by burying your head in the sand and not, not dealing with it, you end up harming yourself further. Okay? It's normally like a phone call, right? That's all you have to do is phone someone up and say, Hey, here's the situation. This is what's happened. Okay? Here's my details. What, what do I do next? If you can't do it because you've got some issue, that's fair enough. Ask someone to help you on your behalf, a family member or a friend, okay? If you haven't got a family member or a friend and you literally can't make a phone call, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what, what else could, like, how do you survive in the world if you literally can't even make a fucking phone call? Like, come on, please, spare me. And you've got and literally no one to help you. Like, how do you even survive in the world? <laughs> Like, I don't know, it's crazy to me. If you have an outstanding build with Artesian right now, you need to just pause this video and immediately initiate a chargeback and get your money, ba money back because they will not refund you. They're done. This is it. The accounts are frozen. They've told their staff to stop. <laughs> they don't have staff. They like, I'm sorry, staff listen, I'm going to keep ranting, okay, because this really annoys me, okay? This really annoys me, right? I know I'm stunlocked. I'm leaning into it now. Yes, bootstrap stuff from conservatives and, and individualist types is annoying, right? Okay. <laughs> but the thing to bear in mind is like, yeah, obviously, you know, like, I honestly, I'm, sh I'm shocked. Like, how do people survive in the world? I'm bad for procrastinating, right? I'm bad for procrastinating. I've got a fucking list of shit I need to sort out, right? There's so much stuff I need to do, okay? But the only thing that's stopping me from doing it is me. That's it. Right? <laughs> that's, that's it. And I appreciate not everyone has got the same self-motivation, and that's fine. You don't have to, though, just to do the bare minimum to survive, right? How do some people get by in the world? I, don't, I honestly don't get it. How do some people just survive? Like... Yeah, life is just doing shit, and sometimes it gets hard, and that's when you need help. But Jesus. Sounding a bit ableist at this point. Good. I'm glad. I'm fucking glad I'm sounding ableist. How the fuck am I sounding ableist, you absolute brain-dead idiot, right? I'm saying if you can't do it yourself, ask for support and ask for assistance, okay? If you are disabled in some way, I'm fairly certain that there'll be some level of resources available to you beyond someone who's able-bodied, okay? Welcome to Chud Nation. Also, what are we talking about? Like, literally fucking brain removal. It's a phone call. If you're in a wheelchair, you can make a fucking phone call, okay? If you've got some sort of disability that means you can't make a phone call like you're deaf or something, then there's probably some sort of, like, accessibility option that's available. And if you really can't do it, ask someone to help you with sign language or whatever it is. Okay, Braille. I don't know. Is that blind? That's blind people, Braille. Whatever it is, okay? Jesus Christ! People act like just doing the bare minimum to survive and asking someone to take a small step to, you know, get the basic resources they need to survive from the government is somehow bootstraps. It's insane. What about social anxiety? Okay, ask if your social anxiety is that bad that you can't make a phone call to literally survive. 
then you've got two options. Ask someone for help or die. Like, what? What do you mean? What, are you, what, what sort of question is that? Yeah, if you really are struggling, ask for help. If you can't ask anyone for help, then die, I guess. I don't know. What, what, what else can I suggest? What, you want people to come round from the government and knock on your door and go, Oh, hello, I'm just checking. Do you need any benefits? Would answering the door be too much to ask in that situation? Hello, we're just doing our, our, our daily check. This costs the taxpayer about a billion dollars per annum, but we've been told because there's some social anxiety-ridden teenagers on the internet, we've got to do this. Do you need any benefits? Are you okay in there? No? Okay, thanks very much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get it. How did fucking bootstraps go from like making crazy requests of you engaging in some insane behavior to like literally do something that's impossible to, hey, you might need to take a few steps to ensure your base level survival in this world. What the fuck is going on? God, it's insane to me. How do some people survive? Listen, I tell you what it is, right? Some of the hardest working, sharp, intelligent people that I've known in my life have been people that have been up against it, right? And they have suffered and they have struggled and they have had a family and they have had to deal with these issues and they have had to rely on benefits and stuff, but they know what's going on and they know the score and they're dealing with it, right? It's these pampered fucking loser idiot leftoids that haven't had to suffer any of this. They're the ones that act like making a phone call is some sort of gargantuan effort that you have to engage in in order to ensure a base level of survival. These pampered fucks online are the ones that, that, that act like it's a massive deal for someone to say, hey, if you need a bit of support, give someone a call and get it. <laughs> what the fuck? It's insane to me. How is any of this fucking ableist? Get the fuck out of here with that shit, okay? Honestly, if your disability is so severe, okay, that you can't make a phone call, and there's no one around that can help you, right? And there's no government support that's available. Like, I, I, I don't know what to suggest to you. What, what do we do about that? How do we deal with that? Explain it to me. What are we supposed to do for that person? Explain. What am I missing here? Then, you know, there needs to be some level of support for them, sure. And if it doesn't exist, we need to somehow create it. But, like, there's got to, you know, I, I, even the... And the other thing as well that I resent about that as well is the idea that disabled people are somehow, like, completely unable to engage in any activity as well that pisses me off too disabled people have got it harder than most sure absolutely but jesus christ stop acting like they're just little blobs sat on their bed unable to ever do anything jesus staff which no longer works there to stop issuing refunds it's over so if you can you need to immediately contact your financial institution and tell them that this charge is functionally at this point fraudulent uh, and that you will never be receiving a product. So to just catch everyone up on what was going on behind the scenes, first of all, Artesian Builds was far more successful than we understood it to be. Uh, and it's impressive how successful generally it was in just a couple of years. It's only been around since something like 2018. So the company, a lot of its success was built on the back of one key person, and that would be the former COO who ran the East Coast office. The COO left in about November of last year and stepped down as a result of disagreements with the CEO. Apparently the way things worked in speaking with multiple now former staff at Artesian, the CEO and the COO ran their West Coast and their East Coast branches somewhat autonomously uh, or at least independently of each other where the CEO is off pursuing his projects of building marketing focused PCs there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's for the sake of the company and not just to meet Twitch streamers. And then on the East Coast office, they were working on doing the bulk of the work, building the actual computers for customers who were supporting the entire operation by buying computers. Now, some of the builds coming out of the West Coast office, from what we understand, were also those being sold. But the East Coast office is the one uh, where the COO was 
managing things and able to generally maintain a, a fluid workflow and pipeline for the company. So eventually, the COO left, and that's where things started getting worse. The CEO did not replace the COO, uh, and so basically assumed management of both locations. The impression, ultimately, just in speaking with Noah Katz via email, one of the things I found odd was uh, just a, maybe it was a lack of experience in the industry is probably the, the most polite way to phrase it. But What's this? My emails. Yeah, I heard that some of these custom um, ones, like I saw one and I think it was for Amaranth and it was in the shape of that little cuck robot, the what little white cuck ball from Star Wars. And it's like, that. how is that going to work? Like the reason that you build PCs as you do normally in like a tower is in order to ensure good airflow because otherwise, because the shit gets really hot when you're using it. BB-8. Yeah, the little white cock ball. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I think it was Amaranth's computer. And they do it. And the thing is, obviously they do it as like a centerpiece or like, a, oh, look at this. I saw one. Someone shared a picture of one that looked like a shark. Well, how stupid is that? Where's the airflow coming in then? It's so stupid. And it's it's done as a little flare or something. At the end of the day, if you want a decent PC, I don't know much about building PCs, you can't go wrong with the old-fashioned classic tower with good, with good cooling and good components, okay? That's it. That's what you need, okay? All of this other stuff is just nonsense, and it's just it's just a selling point for them. So, yeah. If you ask for a PC and they're like, right, we're going to build it in the shape of your favorite sci-fi character, tell them to fuck off, okay? Now, this dude here, right, this dude looks like he doesn't stand for any of that shit. He ain't going to build you a PC in the shape of Luke Skywalker's fucking lightsaber, okay? He's going to be like, no, get the fuck out of here. How is that even physically possible? Get out of here with your bullshit ideas, right? And he's going to go, no, I'm going to build you something. It's going to look nice, but it's going to be classic. And it's going to have good airflow, okay? That's it. I put my laptop on a pillow on my lap to warm up my balls in the winter. Thank you for that, Bilderberg. Appreciate the information. I don't know if mine's got... I don't know what mine's got it. I think I think the graphics card has got the RGB thing. I don't really know. I, I don't know what's going on in there. But yeah, there's literally no need for any of that nonsense, okay? We're very intentionally sort of terse, some of them, as we're setting up the meetings. And that's because I'm trying to maintain a distance and just set a time and a date for the meeting. And then we stop talking to each other until I show up. That's generally how it works because it's not supposed to be a chit chatty, like, hey, let's let's become friends. It's, it's supposed to be, a, let's get down to the bottom of this. And you have an opportunity as the interviewee to try and explain things and rectify things and say, I've learned, this is what I've learned. Let's move forward. Uh, or obviously to make it worse, another opportunity, depending on how you perceived, for example, a Newegg interview. But it felt like the gravity of the opportunity we were affording was sort of lost there. Wait, and, what's and... this? Oh, is this the, the YouTube channel? <laughs> Any new comments? No, there's not new comments. That's a shame. I don't want to play the music just in case. Right, what's this? Damn, they got all the goodies. Damn, happier times. Happier times. What is this then? Is this like... Jesus. Oh my good lord. What a waste of time. Add woman a subscription to the Artesian Builds channel, people. What's in the case? Where's the case? It's right here under this giant black sheet. Custom PC, a completely unique one art piece. i9, 32 gig RAM. Hello? Yes, it's happening. You are already up more than $500, by the way. Exciting! Before you even joined. Uh, yeah. It's pretty amazing. We're going to be drowning in high-end parts. And this actually is not only the most expensive... Oh, yeah, so they do this thing where you give them money and then they upgrade it on stream.
Where's his jacket? The Star Lord jacket. This is before he got super smug. Listen, I tell you what this is. This is this guy is just smug. This guy is just like a smug dude. He's I got thought he got lucky with his little shitty business, and it turned out it wasn't so rosy, and now he's fucked it. Um, but if it have done it right, I tell you what it is. If this guy had done it right. I bet you he could have had a good little business going on if he'd have done it in the right way. Like in this in this kind of space, the streamer space and the influencer space, you know, just being like a decent kind of like friendly person running this kind of business is going to see you well. Remove the smugness, remove all that bullshit and run your business like bang, effectively. You're going to be laughing. But this guy obviously couldn't do that. Instead, he's clearly fucked it from what we're hearing on this. But he wanted to be the face of it. That seems to be what, you know, my reading of it anyway. But yeah. He could have been the next Alienware, which also started out as a small shop before they got bought by Dell. Well, yeah, apparently now they fucking suck because Dell bought them. But yeah. Yeah, you could probably be like a, a little millionaire, millionaire kind of situation, yeah. There is a tone deafness that's conveyed as well in communications with employees and on Twitter and in those apologies... Wait, it's like not quite is he the emotes on his channels? He is the e- Oh my god. What? He himself is the emo. I mean, that, that's more evidence. There's more evidence. More evidence for you. Quite grasping that this is about the life and death of the company. We're trying to give you a massive platform to talk with us on it's not going to be easy i'm not going to do it for you but you know if you think there's a chance you can fix this this is the place to fix it because i'm going to be fair uh and that obviously wasn't really taken to heart because we were getting just more offers about like let's go out and get lunch together let's get on the phone and chit chat like i'll drive you around um it's not really how things generally work so anyway you know this just looks to me like an instance where uh, perhaps there needs to be some learning done before taking on endeavors quite this large. Wait, what's maybe. this? <sighs> okay, so. What's this? Oh, it's the motherboard. What's water force? I've got a gigabyte. But a gigabyte good. I don't know much about it. Um... <laughs> oh no <laughs> they're getting wrecked they're beating your ass in the youtube comments good lord okay anyway it blew up and got too big too fast for someone who just didn't have enough experience with it but either way it's unraveled in a disastrous way for the people who relied on the ceo to have an income and a livelihood and were doing work that they were excited about uh we emailed and said water i know I has water cooling blocks and such on the motherboard jesus Seems a bit overkill. I heard about the layoff of all the staff. Please confirm if you are interested in talking on camera about events on Tuesday next week. And of course, I sent this basically expecting, okay, trip's off. Uh, we're not going to be flying now because there's no more company to fly to. Noah replied and said, thanks for your patience. I suppose that gives you even more of a story, frowny face. Uh, seems like sort of the, you know, this is just, this is the, this is the problem. This, this behavior yes. is the problem. It's not like the, the um, I have people I'm responsible for too, not just family, but we've got a team that we've built up. That I really like this guy. This guy's an absolute legend. I knew I, I thought when I first started watching it. Yeah, I've seen his videos about the deconstruct stuff. This guy's an absolute legend. Like it's like compar comparing these two. So does he do like a build company too? Does he do like a, his own building PC thing? And that's why I know so much about it, is it? Or no, harder reviews. Oh, PC part reviews. Ah, right, okay. Computer journalism. Just hardware reviews. Okay. But he just knows his stuff from being a nerd or whatever. He's like Linus Text Tips. Yeah, I really like their reviews. You can go and check the channel out. I really recommend their uh, watching them. I, I don't know, even if you're not interested in it, you have his number. 
Oh, do you? Well, I'd like to talk well, to him, but I don't really know what about. That's the only thing. No, but he tests new parts and reviews and tests out of his own pocket and refuses catered sponsored product placement. That's legendary. Wow. Welcome to Chud Nation. Hey, Quadzilla. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Hey, we're near a hype train if you want to get me, get me going. Awesome. That's really stuck with me through a lot. I can't imagine being like, oh, that gives you more of a story. Oh, I'm sad about that. It's like, no. The response is, I super f***ed up, and I just f***ed over 50 people. This guy should feel devastated. And I, I feel like it's not the right response. It's the it, the choo -choo. tone doesn't match. Just like the tone of, like, Thank you. we can Bits. go get sushi and I'll pick Very you up and whatever. It's like, no, dude, I need, like, I'm going to come to your office and we're going to sit down and talk on camera and both of us. We're going to talk about how, fuck, how much of a fuck up you are. Basically. So he will use emails and debit cards to buy products so companies don't overkill sending pre-builts for show. Ah, right, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I remember. Doesn't he follow a process so the company doesn't realize he's buying it? Is that right? Like, he tries to do it discreetly so they don't realize. He just, it's like he's a, a regular consumer to, to the company. And they don't realize. So when he gets it, he gets it in a normal way that a consumer would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really clever. I like that. And the thing is, is like, it shows that, you, you know, he's managed to stick stick to his principles and still build a really good channel out of it. See if I play to him. Us are going to what was the reason Artesia made shitty computers? As in why their cooling was so shit they had to underclock stuff. Um, yeah, apparently, I don't know much about the details, but apparently the way their PCs were built were, were substandard to like what you would expect. And so they had to underclock their cards or whatever they are in order to make sure they didn't overheat or something like that. I don't know much about it, so take that with a pinch of salt. But um, yeah. Um, some big streamers were saying they didn't even use the computers they got from them because they were that bad. But I don't know for Welcome sure. Take it with a pinch of salt. Not exactly true. It, link me to the details and I'll look at it. I don't know enough about it, really. I shouldn't have said that. I'm naughty. Or is it through the case? I'm a naughty boy. I'm a naughty, naughty boy. I feel really tense. That's not the time. So it, it's the same type of thing, though, is what I'm getting at, uh, where he says, if you want to come, you're still invited. Oh, hey, Cherry. Uh, Alan Good morning. Agreed to be on. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. ...with me and said, this is weird, the, the font face and uh, italics changed here, so I don't know if it's copied, pasted, or like some weird, you know, how like, how, how like crazy people on websites randomly bold and change colors of words. Uh, I don't know what this is. But it says, when a company suspends operations, it is possible to resume operations if it receives financial assistance sufficient to cover debts, as the legal paperwork for anything like this does take time. Then in italics, it says, this statement in no way is reflective of the thoughts or opinions of any employee. It is simply part of the proceedings. And then it says, this email contains privileged and confidential... Wait, they used EVGA GPU throttling at about 10% increase the performance. I, listen... Welcome I've got no idea what that means. Orange on a matapia. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate that. And PB in January subbing. Thank you. I don't ever say thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for giving me money. Let's keep it going. But yeah. Listen, I don't know what you're talking about with this 10% stuff. Like, what is, what even is that? It seems like magic to me. Is it magic? Is it some form of magic going on? All I, all I know is that I turn my PC on. I turn my PC on and it starts. And then I click go live and I'm streaming. That's all I know about the whole matter. ...information and is for the recipient alone. To which I replied, that's not how that works. You don't tell me the confidential things without first asking me if I agree to hold that information in confidence. I've already said this is all on record. It's in the email like above this one. It's like consider all of this publishable and on record. And so obviously my reply <laughs> what was a chat. No, that's not how it works. 
Uh, you don't like. You don't. Sex oh right, I understand now. So he was me if I agree part of the proceedings. Right. So basically, now he's trying to say. Now he's trying to be like, oh, this is actually confidential now, when actually he's already said ahead of time. Basically, it turned down a lot of the parts to try and help keep parts cooler because they used improper cooling and shoddy thermal paste and parts need to be very bad. Right, okay, I'll take your word for it, but take it with a pinch of salt, my viewers. So now he's trying to say, oh, no, this is confidential now, but he's not agreed to it. And then it says, this email contains right, privileges I got it, I got it, I got to it. hold that information in confidence. I've already said this is all on record. It's in the email like above this one. It's like, consider all of this publishable Damn. and on record. And so obviously my reply was, no, that's not how it works. Uh, you don't like, you don't send it and then ask if they accept the terms after they've already laid out that the terms are everything is public. Um, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this. Uh, he, he sort of says there's a significant amount of misinformation out there right now. Uh, What's this response? <laughs> what is this response? Oh my god, I'm fucking breaking up here over here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Steve, there is significant misinformation out there right now. Around 99% of what has been posted is simply not true true. I went in a cool car on Churro once. What is going on? This is supposed to be the CEO of a company. What is this? This is madness. <laughs> Listen, a lot of it's not true. That cool car, that was a rental. Okay, let's continue on anyway. <laughs> Pick a number between one and five. I don't know, three. People have dug and dug for anything that could possibly be used to damage me and the brand. The unsubstantiated hate and death threats. Ooh, that's a bit spicy. Why are people sending him death threats over this? Jesus. I mean, I'm against death threats full stop. Welcome to Chud Nation. But yeah, doesn't it seem a bit... Hey, Thick Spice, thanks for the three gifted. Appreciate you. Damn, I should have said five, shouldn't I? I've shortchanged myself there. Thank you for the subs, though. I really appreciate that. I thought go down the middle. DGG is mad and they're coming for artesian builds. DG, what's DGG got to do with any of this? What do you mean? I don't think... I think most, most DGGers in my chat or some of them are like, oh, this is boring. They're not interested in it. Because, because there's no... Because there's no... Bad, really bad things happening. Destiny defended the guy. Really? Have you got a link to that? Um, and then says he wants to put more truth out there in the world. Said the communication parameters are clear. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, okay, but you know, <laughs> at this point, Wait, I don't think there's the more. There's more. Look, 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 look. I know it's not from Twain, but the quote: "A lie can travel halfway around the world." While the truth is still putting on its shoes is very true online. I mean, sure, but it's just such a weird thing for the CEO doing damage control. Oh my god. Communication parameters are clear. Didn't mean to offend. This guy's a fucking idiot. Seriously. This is like the worst CEO I've ever seen in a long I've seen in a long time. Destiny didn't finish the video. He just disagreed with the guy on computer stuff. Then he didn't watch the rest of it. <laughs> you mean he half watched it whilst um, grinding League? Is that what you mean? Is that what happened? Oh, the original one. Ah, oh, right, okay. Destiny defended the Artesian guy before the bulk of the allegations came out. Well, listen... At the end of the day, if you want to get into the nitty-gritty, that's why you come to me, okay? 
That's why you come to me. Not some fucking half assed reaction from someone playing League, okay? That's why you come to me, motherfuckers. Think it's boring all you want, but I'm going to be boring if I have to be because I find this interesting. Parameters are clear, didn't mean to offend. Uh, okay, but you know, at this point, I don't think there will be an interview happening because I see no more story. The, now I am no longer interested in speaking with a person who, to me, and this is something that one of the former staff said too, it feels like it was sort of like a sandbox or a playground for the CEO yes. to engage on Twitch in yes. an interesting way. And that was a great gimmick. Building computer. Funny that, isn't it? Who else do we know where that has been a part of what's happened too? It's the ego. You get on Twitch, okay? Now, the thing is, if your thing is literally just, hey, I'm going to be a streamer and grow and clout chase and whatever, that's fine, right? But when you're trying to do something else, the, the clout and stuff can cloud your vision and it can make you, you know, do stupid stuff that is not conducive to your core thing that you're trying to do, but it benefits you greatly from clout or whatever, you know? So, yeah, I think that plays into this. Like he wants to be the face of it and he wants to be the big I am and he wants to be the company owner and all this stuff, you know. But, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yes, Dr. Butler, your favorite incel streamer is here. On stream and shipping them to the people uh, who ordered them, that's kind of a cool idea. But... Um, it just, it, it feels like maybe the intentions were elsewhere in, and not in the end product. So I am no longer interested, I don't think, in having this discussion uh, since the company is now dead or will be very soon. I don't think the right person to talk to at this point is the former CEO. He's had his time. He had his chance. Now I'm interested in speaking with the former staff. Ooh. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, I've already reached out to several people who are able to hopefully help facilitate at least having a meeting locally. I don't know if this is going to be on camera or not, but as I understand... Yeah, I was going to say, like, I, I, you know, I don't know who the staff are. I don't really have any contact with them. But if any of them wanted to come on stream and, uh, you know, have a chat, oh, that'd be that'd be cool. But yeah. Artesian does use Ayurveda in the build process. If Chud is willingly celibate, does that make him a will sell? Wait, what? what are these, this new Chud logic law coming out. People think that because Destiny pointed out the guy accusing Artesian knows fuck all about what he's talking about, that means he's defending Artesian. What was the disagreement? Oh, God. If it's if it's like talking about some nerdy computer stuff, I literally am just like, ugh. There's at least about seven people locally who used to work at Artesian Builds. I am going to at least try and meet up with them. Um, and my intent is to collect their... Meet this guy, though. Meet this guy for me, because he's got, he's got like knowledge and clout. I'm just a shit poster on the internet. Their sort of resume. I'll talk to people if they want. I'm going to send it out to a couple of people I know at Epic Games and yeah, really at cool. some of the companies in the industry. We'll email EVGA, uh, Intel, a couple of them. Say, hey, do you need someone with maybe this skill set? Try and at least help a few of these people who worked near us land hey, something else so that they're not just thanks for the sub like left with nothing so out of nowhere TLDR that's what i'm gonna do the, the tldr is basically the ceo sucks that's the long and the short of it Thank i don't for the want sub. to talk to noah katz anymore because i don't think the motive is right on his side so we already have uh, a couple things in motion for this you probably if you worked there and you're local you have probably already heard from someone uh, on your former team who is trying to organize things. We're working on it. If you haven't, then please feel free to email us. So and, listen, sorry, um, my, my advice as well. Obviously, I've given advice to everyone here, okay? All right. What is going on? What the fuck is this? 
I'm very confused right now. Oh, I know who it is. <laughs> I'm just confused. Someone's changed the name on Discord, but I figure out who it is now. <laughs> Lux, you fucker. I was, I was so confused. But yeah. Um, okay, we'll watch that vid in a sec. Okay, here's a tip for you, right? Here's a tip for you. If you want to get a PC built, don't do it through some bloody Twitch streaming service. Just find a local person that has got a good reputation and get them to build it for you, okay? With it's got good, solid, consistent reviews. Don't do some two-bit Twitch person to build it on stream for you. Because the spectacle of it is part of it, and that's going to detract from the exp from the actual product, okay? And it will be overpriced as well, probably. Yeah. Or not even a local person. You know, get, get it from, like, a reputable um, a company that does this. Honestly, that's the best way to do it. I don't... I wonder. I wonder if, like, smaller streamers would do it because they think they're going to get some exposure out of it as well but yeah i really i really think that this stuff is just a waste of time how much did you expect to pay for a decent pc it depends what you want to do with it if you just want to play like you know low tier games probably like a few hundred quid something like that but if you want to you know do more with it it's going to cost more but it depends what you want to do. No, no, no. What I mean is because obviously some streamers use this service. So some some content creators, especially like maybe the affiliate people who got some sort of discount, will use this service to have their PC built on stream. And I wonder if they think they're going to benefit from it being built on stream when the reality is they're not at all. Like, well, how is that going to work? Oh, there's a streamer here having their PC built. I'm going to go watch their streams from now on. Like, nah, it's bullshit. But yeah, I really I really think you're better off just doing it with a decent, well-reputable company um, rather than one of these kind of weird spectacle-type operations. I mean, I don't know if there's any others like Artesian. But um, that would be my personal thoughts on it anyway. We'll try and work something out. I would at least like to sort of get in touch with the people who work there and see if we can maybe help put them in touch with people who could place them in a role. I don't have any openings here. Uh, I'm not sure what openings the other companies have, but I'm sure some people are hiring right now. And uh, we'll, we'll do our best to at least bridge you. With sure, I got mine, I got mine from a company called Chill Blast, and it's been really great. Anywhere, but the thing that was really troubling with this one is just how absolutely idiotic the collapse of this company was. This was 100% recoverable, but the problem is you can't recover once you start looking at the root cause of everything. The one incident of taking away the giveaway system, that, that could have been resolved. It could have been a massive, yeah, we messed that up. Uh, and then here's what we're going to do to fix it uh, with, you know, some some loss of sales in the short term. But this is beyond that. There's there's no saving this. One of the quotes we got that I would like to share from a former employee said the following quote, we are all very proud of our work and are generally disheartened that it has been tarnished by an unserious person who has made it clear they respect neither their company nor their employees who worked extremely hard to get the company to where it was before all of this. Overall, the statements made by our CEO don't reflect the feelings yeah. or attitudes of the staff at Artesian Builds. So this is one of those things where some of the more incompetent decisions you've seen made in those builds, like underclocking the GPU, that may have been a policy from higher up. We don't really know. Um, I'll try and talk with some more people. Maybe there's more to the story. But for now, we wanted you to at least know this much and that it looks like Artesian Builds is, is done for. Maybe it gets sold. Maybe the parts, bits and pieces of it get sold off to other SIs who will probably have nothing to do with the name and will just make do with the customer lists and yeah. the parts lists and whatever. But uh, for now, that's the update. If you know I mean, more, you they, they've They've got like a lot of stock on hand as well. Like if you look at their, in the backgrounds of the videos and stuff, they've got so much stock, um, which, you know, 
I don't know how how like, obviously you can only see by looking. When it comes to like people that build PCs, I guess you would need to have some level of stock on hand. But yeah, it seemed like a lot, <laughs> like a lot of like high quality gear. Like, is is that all really necessary? I don't, I don't know. That'll all have to be liquidated probably if it doesn't go to plan. Oh, there might be empty boxes. It's just for show. That's a bit cringe. Sent me broken motherboard, broken CPUs, broken GPUs that clearly have been used before. Yeah, maybe. I imagine a good number of their employees were part-time and maybe remote doing creator outreach. Yeah, obviously it is like, you know, it is the employees are the most fucked here. Like they've done nothing, they've done literally nothing wrong. Um, they've just worked for this company and it turns out the CEO is an absolute jester. And you worked there specifically, then get in touch with us. You can use tips at gamersnexus.net to send over information and um, we'll see if there's anything further we can do on the story. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more as always. You can go to store.gamersnexus.net to help us out directly or patreon.com slash gamersnexus. It's getting pretty late, so we're going to go edit this video. Uh, I think Keegan has stayed behind to help with this. Thank Wait, you, Keegan. Didn't some employees put some shitty bills together? I mean, I don't know how that came to be, though. If the culture is, if the culture of the company is putting together builds that aren't top top draw, that's the culture of the company, isn't it? How much how much onus do you put on an individual who is just following orders? <laughs> But you see, I was only following the orders to make the computer that way. <laughs> I was following the orders of my higher ups, yeah? <sighs> okay, anyway, <clears throat> let's watch this video, for better or for worse. Most disgusting PC giveaway I've ever seen. 2K followers is under my threshold. Scamming content creators. And there's the re-roll. Tax fraud. So it appears that our boy Noah hasn't been paying his taxes. Abusing employees. I'm scared of him. Like, he's done. I've seen him do some horrible things to people. And stealing intellectual property. Not done by a company, but all done by a single person. So in case you haven't heard, yesterday was the pinnacle of all scumminess. A small streamer named Kia Pia was the winner. Where is the claim, Mooten? Tell me what time in the video. Thanks for all the dope content. Right, what's this? <clears throat> Around three minutes. Sponsored to use another PC from. A Wait. Company. Oh yeah. It didn't. Hasn't Eris got? Can, can someone link me the aristocracy video? Because she did a video about it too. I don't know if that's got some extra insights. I am genuinely happy for you. What I'm not happy about is having to bite my tongue about the practices of the company that you are being paid to promote. And that's not your job. It's not your job to know as a creator what those PC companies do. You're busy. And there's no Two times all of the speed. Computers like I know. For example, last month I drove down to Good LA Lord. to a professional legal at not house league. to fix their five thousand dollar gaming PC. That PC was from a company that currently sponsors a lot of my streamer <clears> friends. <throat> the problem with this PC is that it was overheating to the point where every single time this computer launched a game, it would just shut down. I am the problem. So I went and saw that they used really cheap thermal paste and they used a bad case. All of this could have been solved for less than hundred dollars for a five thousand dollar computer. Okay. Fuck, I hate computers. I hate people that talk about computers and I hate everything having to do with computers, okay? My background, what? I put the- What? What's all this said? We're gonna- <laughs> We're gonna- What's going on here? It's not even about the drama. It's just about some bit computer build thing. Jesus. together over one or two hundred systems i think over the course of a few years and i build computers for other people i know a lot about computers i know a lot about computer builds i know a lot about overclocking deleting fire right, no, let's go with I it okay <laughs> one it, now let me caution you there might be some things i don't know because i haven't done this in a while but firstly one it is listen there. look i'm trying not to be ableist after my after my rampage earlier against people in wheelchairs <laughs> that sounds bad I didn't mean it like that, okay? I'm trying not to be ableist right now. But come on, this is, you know. <laughs> this, you know what I'm trying to say in this, right? Let's just say this, this video, this, this scene wouldn't look out of place in Rain Man, okay? That's all I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> Very rare today for me to ever see a computer oh, shut what, there's down. Oh, what, there's some drama. Oh, oh, the thermal paste, though. What about the thermal paste? Oh, the thermal paste. Oh, the, what, I don't know. It's just, like, so ridiculous. Oh. What about the thermal paste? 
Chuck the thermal paste on the floor. Count how many there are. I don't know. Go and play some blackjack. I don't fuck. Whatever. Overheating. I don't hear that ever happening anymore. Typically, what will happen is a processor will underclock itself hardcore until the computer might move very, very, very slowly. But usually, there's going to be a TDP. There's going to be a thermal cap where once the temperature hits like 100, 110, 95, or whatever, that um, eventually the computer is going to start to underclock itself. The voltage will decrease. The V-core will decrease. Clock speed will decrease. It won't put out as much heat, and then blah, blah, blah. Okay? Number one. So just saying that, like, oh, the computer was shutting itself off because of okay. overheating. I don't know Wait, about that. I'll tell you what as well. This title is so deceptive. Now look, I know about deceptive video titles. I'm not going to lie. Destiny talks about Artesian drama. He's talking about some thermal pacing. What do you mean? This has nothing to do with the drama itself. This is this is like very tenuous link to the drama. What, what is this? Uh, number one. Number two, bad thermal paste. I'm sorry, what is this, fucking 1999 when people are paying like $50 for the Arclight Silver Compound because they think that the ultra-expensive thermal paste is going to work better than like toothpaste? No, fuck out of here, okay? The ultra-expensive thermal paste, the thermal paste you use isn't okay, really no going to be that important when it, comes to, when it comes to cooling your PC. And then two, a bad case? A bad case for what? You said this guy was a pro League of Legends player? Well, how much fucking airflow do you think you need? How many, well, like, 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 what is the volumetric amount Oh, of right, okay, listen, to give some credit, I think what we're talking about here is, because I, I didn't really understand, and I, I think I said earlier, I was like, look, I don't know much about the building thing, but it sounds to me like this guy is making claims which maybe aren't true about the PCs. But it doesn't sound like he's defending Artesian builds, he's just making a general point about PC builds, I guess air that you need to be moving in and out of the case how many fucking 140 millimeter fans are you putting on this thing to cool it down for league of legends this i'm sorry i understand but this already like reeks of bullshit everything i just heard sounds like somebody that has no idea what the fuck they're talking about having anything to do with computers when i just hear all of that fucking bullshit typically cases are going to matter when you get into like, okay SLI listen cards. taught tv he's wrong about a lot of this shit 95 200 degrees c is tj max what the what's that what's that supposed to mean then the computer will shut off not throttle you're speaking magic to me. You're, it's like someone's telling me how to cast a magic spell. I don't know any of this stuff, okay? All I know is me press button, computer turn on, me click go live. That's all I know. I click the button for Apex Legends, and through a series of, of computer alchemy, the game starts playing on my screen. That's it. That's all I know, okay? Which I don't even think people are doing anymore. <clears throat> or with AMD, you'd crossfire cards. Or if you just have a really, really, really high performance systems. But like... Lack of cooling because of bad thermal paste is almost entirely bullshit. Maybe improperly applied thermal paste, possibly. And because of a bad case, the g most garbage bullshit case in the world. Like, in listen, cases, I see where he's coming from, but I just, oh my god. I'm just, my brain is exploding. I think I'm catching, uh, you know, <laughs> I think I'm catching, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm catching it just from watching this video. 120 on the back and a 120 on the front and maybe 120 on the top. You're probably fine. It's not going to be a big deal, okay? SLI isn't a thing anymore for consumer GPUs. Thank you for repeating what I just fucking said, Furland. You were so fucking anxious. You were so excited for your three-inch fucking Trevor to come out like, oh, let me type something. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Stay short. PC companies suck. But I get it. They have employees, they have to pay overhead, and in bulk orders, things are going to fall through the cracks. It comes with running such a large operation at scale. But Artesian is one company that I've had multiple run-ins with behind the scenes. If you're a creator with an Artesian PC and I've spoken with you, you've heard me talk shit about them to you privately. In my experience, they are the PCs that I've been asked to fix more often privately than anything else. I've taken a look inside a few of them now, and some of the issues that are caused in there are not issues that are caused by shipping. So naturally, I've slowly been... Wait, hang on a sec. In my mind. And then what is, this, is this person like of Asian descent or something? Like of, I, I don't know, the exact country. I'm just going to say Asian broadly because i know that's how you yankoids think is that right right okay <laughs> it's and you say destiny's got drama with him right it's all starting to come together now now it's starting to make sense <laughs> it's all starting to make sense now it's all coming together okay i get it now it's all good i can read between the lines I can read between the lines, okay? One day I decided, you know, One man enters with his sanity and his career. Will he leave with both? You know what? I'll stop by their live stream. I type in chat during a build and Noah sees the message and the first thing he says is to the effect of, Oh, Christopher Yee, I saw you did a collab with I am with so Linus bad with business. How much can I pay you to get me in a room with him? Ew, nobody does that. I know people are ugly and think what they can get out of others. This sounds like a joke. 
But that's stuff that they do privately behind the scenes. No one is just upfront and weird like that. So from that point onwards, every time I would see them work with the creator, I would just privately sigh. And then after seeing this bullshit giveaway that happened yesterday, I have now realized that Noah Katz is a content creator's and normal person's nightmare brought to real life. You see, when a normal person goes on social media... Does he talk about computer shit anymore or is he just... I, I already don't trust anything. I'm so curious. Now that like the artesian people have like gotten in the bad limelight or whatever, now everybody's like anxious to jump on and shit on every single possible thing they could do. So I'm curious that this guy mentions like computer shit. I don't know what this guy's background is for computer stuff, but... Um Actually, they see the highlight reel of other people's lives. That's what people post on social media, all their big moments. Mooten, does he talk about computer shit? Anything else? Or is that it? <laughs> I only watched until the Destiny talks about Artesian drama. This is this is the biggest this is the biggest cope I've ever seen in my life. Does August does August run this channel? I think he does, right? This is where the stuff that isn't big enough big enough or like um popular enough to get on the main channel goes, right? Late night on Destiny. He does, right, okay. It's fine, I get it, okay. Then he literally built Lily's PC. Yeah, who the fuck cares? How have you built one to two hundred PCs? Um, I used to do a service called. You might even, <laughs> if you Google, you might even be able to see websites. Now. But I used to call it Destiny's Build a PC. What I do is I would charge you. I think I would charge ten to fifteen percent of the cost of parts, and then I would, uh, um, I would recommend like a build list. You'd order the parts, ship it to me. I'd put together the computer. I'd overclock the GPU. I'd overclock the CPU. I would delit it and. Um, I used to do, it's called lapping the the um, the IHS, the integrated heat spreader. I used to like sand it down, but that shit doesn't really have much time to do that. Um, and then I would like stability test it and bench it. Oh, it was Destiny's build a box that was it. Um, and then I would bench it and I would stress test it for a day or two, depending on how long the overclock took, because some chips overclock really well and some are fucking trash. Stop would... using those dusty ass emotes from that channel. What is this? What is this? These emotes suck, and they just demonstrate a, a very much like a the attitude of that CEO guy. He's literally making himself the face of it. He wants to be the face of all this gubbins. It's fine if you're a streamer and that's your whole gig, but when you're trying to run a company that's supposed to be a professional operation, it just comes across as a bit cringe to me. <clears throat> right? Doesn't even have a Star Lord jacket. <laughs> No, but also I don't have a failed PC building company to worry about either. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, I feel bad making jokes about it. Honestly, I feel terrible for the people that have lost their jobs. But there's too many memes. I can't help it, okay? I can't help it. Wait, why is there a jacket there? Oh my god. God, this dude is cringe. Seems like a stretch. I don't think it's a stretch. It's just highlighting that it's, um, you know. He didn't have to be the face of it. He put himself in that position, right? But he thinks he's the big I am. I'm the big CEO. Big nuts walking around the office. Where's your fucking nuts now, bitch? You just got castrated, motherfucker. Sorry. I don't know why I'm fucking popping off so much about this. Anyway, come on. Let's get through this video of a bunch of shit I don't care about. Come on. Why am I watching this anyway? I'm just, just watching. To be honest with you, it feels like I'm just watching this. Because then DK can put Destiny in the thumbnail and it'll probably get a few more clicks. <laughs> but none of this is relevant to what I'm talking about. It's all just PC build nerd shit. But to be fair, I kind of didn't really understand what this guy was talking about. So yeah, maybe it's good that Destiny's explaining it better. I don't know. We'll ship it to the customer. Um, but I think, I don't know how many did. Like 100, 200 maybe? Um, but yeah. Have you had any issues with your PC from a TV? No, not at all. No, do you know what it is, right? I tell you what it is, okay? I hate incompetent business owners and CEOs or whatever. I, I despise them. I, they Honestly, I, they are, to me, like, just fuckers, you know? It's like you're put in this position of trust and care to look after the people that work for you. And then you fuck it up. And you're just incompetent. And you act like a fucking smarmy prick. Like, fuck you. Honestly, I despise it. It pisses me off. Um, you know, and the thing is, like, for example, let's say you've got someone that runs a company and it's like a cafe, right? And COVID comes along and it fucks your business up. I've got, I've got a, uh, a lot of sympathy for that sort of thing happening, even though they're the petty bourgeoisie, they're the baddies or whatever. I think, yeah, you know, look, 
you know, you, you, you've done your best, it's all fucked up, whatever, right? But people like this, who are like, just, just run a business incompetently and fuck things up, I've just got a lot of disdain for those types of people. Um, and I just, I just think it's cringe, and I just think, yeah, fuck you. You know? And I think, I think when you do it with a smugness, and you're fucking everyone over that works for you. I think that's really fucking bad, and I hate it. I don't know. I just it triggers me. It triggers the fuck out of me, and I get really mad, and I start popping off. I don't know. That's the way I feel about it. I guess. Fifteen percent. Ha 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 ha. No. Uh, you find me anybody else on the internet that would delit a chip for you. Um, delit. Yeah, you could talk to me at my prices. You fucking retard. You have no idea what the fuck delit shit is or what goes into any of this. Okay. Get the fuck what does delit me? I don't understand. Oh my out God. of here. You popped myself cherry. True. Smiley D-lid. What does D-lid mean? Explain it to me. Someone tell me what it means. When I D-lid it too, that was when D-lidding chips was hard, okay? You kids are lucky today because you have like these special little... You have. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Being irresponsible with people's livelihood is definitely something to pop about, yeah, for sure. Part of the top metal. It sounds like circumcision. Is it like circumcision but for computer parts? Uh, that, okay, that makes sense to me. These like special boxes that you put CPU chips into and you just like twist a screw. Back in my day, we had to th we had to put these motherfuckers in a vice and you had to tap it with a right, fucking right, hammer right. in order to open this shit. Holy fuck. This was some <laughs> this was some hardcore shit. Oh Back God. in the in the very very old days, I say old days, 2013. Um the Sandy Bridge and the Ivy Bridge chips. Okay, the process of removing the CPU's integrated heat spreader. An IHS absorbs and spreads out heat from a CPU to a heat sink to keep it cooler. You would deal it a CPU in order to replace it with an alternative thermal material for an even cooler PC. This is relevant if you want to overclock your machine. Thank you very much for giving me the answer. What is the label on this? The, um, the connection between the computer <laughs> diode, that little silver thing, and then the, um, or the, no, it was the die. It's a die. Um, the, the die and the, uh, well, the thing is, like, building computers has become a lot more straightforward in recent times. Um, I don't know when the trend of building computers started, but I can't, I can't imagine that when they first came out, many people were in the process of building their own systems, because why would you need to? But nowadays, obviously, it's become a massive way of getting a computer as you buy the parts yourself and build it yourself. Destiny's explaining it now. I don't need to know. Who cares, okay? But yeah, back in the day, I think it was just pre-builds, right? And obviously, you buy a unit and it's like, oh yeah, that's $5,000 and the parts are only like 2500 or whatever it is. But yeah, back in the day, building it yourself was difficult, but now it's become a lot easier. They're like modular now. People keep telling me, oh, build, they're telling me to build my computer. I can't do that. You seriously listen to me talk about this for like 10 minutes and you're going to tell me to build my own computer. I'm not going to do that. No, I don't have time anyway. I don't have time if I can build a computer. Jesus. I'd rather just get someone else to do it for me. I need, I need to change the CPU and apply new thermal paste because it's nearly a year old and I'm told I need to do that. I'm going to get someone to do it. I'm going to pay someone to do it for me. I'm not going to do that shit myself. That's a, that's, a biz, that's a business expense too. If I can get the tax right off on that bad boy, no problem. It takes an hour. Yeah, people tell me this. Oh, it takes an hour. It's not very much. Da, da, da. Yeah, someone told me after a year, I need to change the thermal paste. How, what, how, someone told me after a year, I need to change it. How, how long? Two years. Oh, for fuck's sake. All you nerds in chat. Oh, 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 what are you talking about? Yeah, someone told me. I don't fucking know. Someone told me and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll change it after a year. And I need to change my CPU anyway because I've already got an i5 in there. It's like an, oh, it's an i5. I need to get like an i7 or something. Anyway, <laughs> just renew with a whole new PC after. Yeah, so the, basically I bought it from this really cool company, right? But they've told me after six months I need to change the whole thing again. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that sounds, that sounds fair enough. I guess quite a lot changes in six months. Plated cap. 
um, which is called an integrated heat spreader. The thermal pace between that was really bad. Um, it was so bad, and your temps would be fucked. Wait! But what you could do is you could... Re Wait! Yes, I got an iPhone. Okay, let me tell you the process of what happened, okay? I spoke to someone, and I gave them my budget at the time, and they said, oh, this is what I'd recommend for you, okay? And it included, like, an i5. When I spoke to the company that built my computer, I said I could probably afford a bit more. And then rather than the graphics card that was included, they said, hey, we can get you a 3070, a new uh, um, 3070 whatever, RTX thingy, right? I was like, yeah, okay, sounds good. Higher number means better. -er. Okay, go for it, right? So I got that, but I never bothered upgrading the CPU, and I should have done in hindsight, okay? I should have got I should have got it in hindsight a, a bigger processor, but I didn't. Okay. So now I want a better processor, and I'm going to get someone to change it for me. And I say this to chat, and you're like, "Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, I didn't. I don't know anything about computers. Okay. Someone said the i5 was okay, so yeah, I'll go with that. And the people at the company didn't really say much. I'm like, "Yeah, that's fine. Just go with the 3070 because we can get that for you. Okay." You have a 3070 and Apex looks like that. Yes, because I have to turn the graphics down. Because otherwise it overloads my CPU. I think that's what's happening. Yes. Whenever I try and play video games and run a stream, uh, OBS, um, I get ch it chugs. I'm an incompetent business owner. <laughs> I'm an incompetent streamer, that's for sure. <laughs> Streaming takes a huge amount of CPU load. Genuinely, your CPU is probably bottlenecking you. What does it mean? How do I stop it? Oh, my fucking God. Remove the IHS from the actual board, um, and then you could clean the top of the die, and you could apply... I think I have this. This is like a thermal metal, or it's like a liquid metal compound or whatever. And then you could... Okay, uh so right. So people are laughing at me for this situation, right? And they're going, oh, what, i5, and I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do? Upgrade it. Yes, that's what I said at the start. I fucking said at the start, I need to upgrade my CPU, and people are fucking sawing out at me, but that is the solution to my problem. I've got the correct solution. God, fuck you, chat. Jesus Christ, you're really annoying me today. What is going on? Why are you pissing me off so much? Um, it would boost your temps by like literally like 15, 20 degrees. It was insane. But delitting back then was kind of scary because I think the most reliable way you do it, you get like this block of wood, you get a vice, you would throw the... <clears throat> did I say block of ice? Or did I say vice? What is this? You'd put Damn. the CPU in the in the vice, you'd get this little block of wood, you'd get a hammer, and then you just have to smack this basically until you can separate the two. What? This and then is once madness. You've apart, you could, yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. My price were more than reasonable. Suck my dick. Okay. <clears throat> How many did you destroy? Um, in all of my time of building CPUs or building PCs, I never had a CPU problem. I'm trying to think what. I don't know. I really don't know if I. I think I had like one or two bad motherboards and then one or two bad GPUs. But prop check. Um, he does have more claims. Here he claims Artesian is throttling computers. One of the content creators who asked me to take a look at their Artesian Builds PC was just like, I'm not getting the performance I need to get out of this computer. How come it's not working? And we took a look at everything on her computer, and then we, look, we took a look at the control panel to see... There's a minefield when it comes to Twitch about PC specs and builds, and some are trying to basically find out if you actually might need one, and some are just giving you clout shit manufacturers say information. Welcome to Chud Nation. Yeah. Hey, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is yeah, I just basically need to, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I've only got it a year ago. I don't want to mess about. All I want to do is take out the i5 and put in the biggest, best processor that my motherboard can take. Okay. What was wrong with the performance? I, I just, th th this is the problem. And I, I might be an elitist here. When I talk to certain people about music and they use certain terms, I can tell immediately if they know what they're talking about or not. Because they use like certain words or whatever. They're like, oh shit, you know exactly what you're talking about, right? 
What are you looking at the- what are, what are you looking at for the control I'll tell panel? you after this. I've never heard that before. Now, if he were to say, like, we opened up MSI Afterburner, or there might be other programs today that people use, like, um... Um, I think our hardware monitor is a good one. CPU-Z, I think, would give you temps and shit, I think. GPU-Z, although I don't think anybody used that one. Now, I haven't heard of one, but when he says, he, maybe he means NVIDIA control panel. Does NVIDIA control panel even give you temps? Or, or like, like clock? Yes, I what I keep saying. It's nothing to do with the drama. It's just having to go at this, this fella for over PC stuff, which is fine, I guess, if that's what he wants to do. But I thought this would be more about the extra drama. Maybe just, I don't know. Hyperfixer is, this is an example of hyperfixation. <laughs> Maybe it does? I don't know. I've never heard that before. But when I hear people use words like this, it makes me highly skeptical of everything they're saying. I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, do you, are you, do you really know what you're talking about? Or um, he probably just calls Ryzen Master a control. Okay, maybe. Maybe it's possible. It's possible. And we took a look at everything on our computer. You did. We you did yeah, I didn't listen to you. When I did listen to you, I knew this is what it was going to be. It's a good meme, though. I'm having fun watching it. Destiny's pitter is out of whack. I know he's been getting in, and uh, well, <laughs> he's been getting into the Ayurveda stuff. I didn't realize my um, conversation went up on the YouTube with some other people. I didn't realize Supreme had spoken to him. Why didn't Supreme tell me that? Why didn't fucking Supreme tell me he'd spoken to Destiny about this shit? I had no idea. I knew Pisco did, because Pisco ended up coming on to my stream, obviously. When did Supreme talk to Destiny about the fucking uh, Ayurveda shit? Wicked supremacist. That's his, uh, that's his spook. That's his spook training coming into effect. This tweet is gold. This tweet is in Russian. I can't read it. Control panel to see what was wrong with the performance. And then we realized that there was some type of EVGA software on there that I hadn't seen before. Apparently, it was EVGA's fucking overclocking program. And we found out that the people at Artesian that built the PC, in order to combat their overheating problem, they apparently have just been shipping out computers with a 10% throttle on their GPUs. There was a 10% throttle. What, is, what, is, what does a 10% throttle on the GPU mean? Do you mean like the actual clock speed? It's Ukrainian! Ukrainian and Russian both uses a Cyrillic alphabet, right? How am I supposed to tell that without knowing either Ukrainian or Russian? Are you mental? How the fuck am I supposed to tell that? You're mental if you think I'm going to look at that and go, well, that's clearly Ukrainian, not Russian. Get the fuck out of here with a fucking... I don't even know what it is. I don't even care. Was it an actual underclocked card or was it an undervolted card? Now, I don't know anything about new GPUs. I haven't worked on it. But something that you used to be able to do in the past is some GPUs came hot out of the box and you could actually undervolt these a bit, but they would still be stable at the exact same clock. Wait, so how is that racist? It's a state of fact. Okay, if you want to not be racist, I'll put up some Russian text and Ukrainian text and you can tell me which is which, you fucking idiots. If you can undervolt a chip and you can still get the same clock speed out of it, that's totally fine. You do that. You have better temps. You've got longer stability in your system. You, like, your car will probably last longer. Like, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with undervolting something. Um, now, if you're underclocking it, that's a little bit strange. But, I, but, I, but he's, not using, he's not using real words. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. I don't know, I don't know what he's saying right here. <clears throat> well, on GPUs that they have sent to creators, partner creators, right? That they were just saying that. I didn't even fucking tell them. They you were dumb as fuck. It's Ukraine's government supporting Azov. Well, you're timed out for a whole day. Fuck off. I didn't tell them. It was just something that they did because they were like, they're not going to notice 10%. 10% what? I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. I don't want to do I want to study Ukraine. I wouldn't take anything that guy says about anything having to do with computer series at all. That's it. Just for my bullshit looking at it, okay? But I don't know. I don't know anything, okay? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. I don't care. I just want to be out of Crimea, okay? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. All right? He might be talking about the power limit setting, um, which is also in MSI Afterburner, but lowering that to 90% doesn't tank your PC. Run. Yeah, of course. Also, again, if these are like League of Legends players, these guys aren't going to notice. I'm sorry. If you've got a 30, 90, 30, like, doesn't, like, okay. Gee, stop. Perhaps he means lowering the max allowed power usage. Yeah, but the power usage doesn't matter. Oh my God. <laughs> if it can maintain the right clock speed, if it can maintain a load, meaning 100% utilization of the GPU at a given clock speed, if you can maintain that load at the clock speed at a lower volt, that's good. You want to undervolt the card. There's no reason, like, if you wanted to right now, you could juice the fuck up out of any chip you want. You could increase the V-core on your CPU, if they still call it V-core. You could probably increase all of the voltage on your card and, and leave the clock speed the same. Why would you do that? You can draw a fuck ton more power, but the goal for any system that you have is you want to draw the least amount of power possible for the most amount of stability possible. This is what it used to mean when you would play the overclocking game. You'd, you'd tip up your V-core a little bit, and then you'd start bumping up the multiplier on your clock speed, and then eventually your system would crash. And then once it would crash, you'd bump up the V-core a little bit more, then you then hopefully it's stable again, then you bump, right? This is like the, the juggle that you play when it's when you're, when you're working with systems. I don't care about this guy. Don't care. There we go, folks. What are you saying? In terms of like the YouTube segment, probably like that's going to be it. Wait, I've been streaming for three hours. How the fuck have I been streaming for three hours? It's nearly 5 p.m. my time. What the fuck? That's madness. Did I just get stunlocked for like forever? 
Good luck editing that one, DK. Sorry, I think it's going to be a good segment, though. It should do well. 